I'd been really interested for a long time in about the bombing of Nagasaki and I was reading a book about the atomic bombings in Japan and there was an image in there um, it said that a lot of women who were wearing white kimonos with dark patterns on them when the blast occurred the white reflected the heat from the blast um, and the dark sort of absorbed it so these women ended up with tattoos on their backs in the shape of the kimono patterns and I read that and I just knew that that was an opening image um, that I would have a character in the book who would have this uh, tattoo uh, kimono pattern on her back and so it really did start with at once this very large idea um, which is around war and, and destruction but also this very intimate image and really with the book I wanted to throughout the book have these dual things in place so one a, a very large sweep of history um, it is a book that covers five countries and 60 years but I also always wanted to have the intimacy of the characters of the reader and the characters and, and sort of tiny images um, at the very heart of it so the book spans five countries 60 years it starts in Nagasaki in 1945 and so you have two characters one a Japanese woman um, and the man she loves who's German and through the four sections of the novel uh, the members of their two families keep meeting um, at different places and times so the first section is Nagasaki 1945 uh, then it's Delhi just before partition 1947 so the last days of the British Raj then we've got Pakistan in 1983 which is of course when the Soviets were in Afghanistan and America and Pakistan were involved in fighting them. Um, and then the final section is 2002, New York and Afghanistan. And so the, the members of these two families keep meeting up in these different times and places. Um, and there's one character who is constant throughout and sort of um, takes us through the whole book. And I wanted it to be a novel about uh, the interplay of history and personal lives. Um, you know, in the last few years there's been so much talk about the clash of civilizations and it's never been a, an expression I've believed in because, you know, I'm a Pakistani Muslim, I live in London, I've been um, educated in America. Um, so I've never believed there's anything inevitable or essential or really um, truthful that there is this clash of civilizations that much ha must happen. But what I am very interested in is how people from different places carry with them the history of where they're from um, and when they're interacting with each other these perceptions that they already have preconceived notion um, of each other sometimes get in the way of personal relations and other times personal relations drive those things away um, and it's this sort of constant back and forth so through the book um, as these people from different places keep meeting each other um, in some cases it's all very wonderful and um, the personal relationships are triumphing and other times history does intervene in, in um, ways that can be quite tragic.